All right, I want to show you some slightly more complicated patterns and objects you can create using the duplicate and pattern tool. So I'm going to start with the box and I'm going to make it five by five millimeters. And instead of 20, I'm going to make it 40, which makes it a little longer. Okay. And I'm going to use that same rotating pattern on the bottom. So click on this, hit duplicate, don't unselect it, rotate it, and I'm going to rotate it 30 degrees because that goes in evenly to 360. And I'm going to hit duplicate, 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 duplicate. Great. Now I'm going to take this a step further. I'm going to select this, group it, and I'm going to duplicate this entire group. So I duplicate. It looks like it didn't do anything. And I'm going to rotate it by 30 degrees this way. And I'm going to duplicate it again. And here I've created a really interesting shape. Now, if you were going to 3D print this shape, it would be a little more complicated because it would either require a lot of supports, which would be a pain, or you could split it in half and print it in two different parts. Using the duplicate function to create patterns not only can save you a lot of time, it can create shapes and objects that you couldn't do very easily by hand. Here, I'm going to show you another one. I'm going to take this again, right, five by five, and I'm going to extend it out again to 40. And this time, I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to move it up slightly, just a little bit, and I'm going to rotate it slightly, like five degrees. And there is another unique twisting pattern. So remember, with the duplicate, it remembers every change you make so you can move and rotate. And I can group this and then create a new pattern with that. So I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to rotate it this way. Bye. Let's try 10 degrees. So I'm going to say negative 10 and duplicate that to get another interesting pattern. So I have spirals among spirals, as you can see here. You can really play with this duplicate feature and get some really interesting shapes, objects that you can add to your game piece or make into something else. Play around with this. Be creative. Try create your own. It's lots of fun. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you want more ideas and hands-on courses, check out my courses at makeshiftedtech.com, where you can also get one-on-one -on -one live support.